many people are obsessed with the vanilla bean rice pudding recipe I shared a couple weeks ago and they love it. Just check out some of these nice comments saying it was the best rice pudding they've ever had. But I've always gotten a lot of requests to make a dairy free version for any of our friends who are lactose or dairy intolerant or are eating a dairy free diet. And so this one is for you. Today we are making instant pot coconut rice pudding. This coconut rice pudding recipe is one of the very best. Let me read you this nice comment I got on it the other day. She said, just made your instant pot coconut rice pudding and it is amazing. I'm dairy free because of breastfeeding my third and this recipe is perfect. Thank you for sharing. And that is so nice. I've gotten so many comments like that over the little while that I've had this recipe on my website. And so I'm so excited to share it here on YouTube. So let's get started. So to start out, we need to make the rice in our Instant Pot. So to your Instant Pot, add one cup of long grain white rice. You can use jasmine rice or basmati rice. I use long grain white rice, but any three of those rices will work just fine. So add your rice to the Instant Pot, and I don't rinse mine, but you can if you like. And then we are going to add one and a half cups of water. If you like, you can also add a little dash of salt, and I usually just kind of shake mine around just a little bit and to make sure that all the rice is distributed in the water. And then we're going to pressure cook it for three minutes on high pressure with a 10 minute natural pressure release. Here's also a little tip. If you don't like that noise that your Instant Pot makes when you open and close it, you can always turn it off by pressing the minus key on your Instant Pot until it says S off or sound off. If you wanna turn the sound back on, just press the plus sign until it says S on or sound on. Our Instant Pot has been naturally releasing the pressure for about 10, 11 minutes and the pin actually just dropped. So this is perfect timing. I'm gonna take off the lid and let all that water from the lid kind of drip into the Instant Pot and don't lift it away right away. Otherwise that liquid will get on your counter. Now we have our rice and it's cooked all the way. So I'm just going to toss it a little bit, like kind of break it up, make sure that it's cooked evenly and it looks great, nice and fluffy. Now we're going to add in our sugars. So first I'm going to add in a quarter cup of brown sugar. And then I'm also going to add in half a cup of cream of coconut. Cream of coconut is not the same thing as coconut cream or coconut milk. So make sure that you get cream of coconut. It's actually kind of an emulsion of sugar mixed with coconut. Let's see, it has coconut, sugar, water, yeah, all that good stuff. And it's used usually for mixed drinks, but it's kind of this syrupy texture. And this is the first time I've gotten it in a can. Usually I get it in a little squeeze bottle, but this is the first time I got it, got it in a can and it's separated. So for this case, if you use a can of cream of coconut, make sure that you take it out and put it in a bowl or something or a blender and make sure that all that syrupy liquid is mixed in with that thick coconut cream on the top. Otherwise you'll have like a, a disproportionate amount of sugar or coconut. You want to make sure that it's nice and emulsified. And so make sure you whip it up in the can or in a bowl before you add it into your coconut rice pudding. So half a cup of cream of coconut and it's so good. If you have leftovers, you can use it in pina coladas. I like to put it into like pancake syrup or like in frosting to make it really yummy and coconutty. It's so good. So I've got our sugars here and we're just gonna mix this in until it gets yummy and glisteny. So good. And I like using the brown sugar versus the white sugar because I think it gives it kind of a, a deeper taste, a deeper flavor. So I really like that. So now we are going to press the saute button on our Instant Pot. We wanna make sure it's on. Okay, with the cancel keep warm, press the saute and press start. Okay, <laughs> I've, this is my new Instant Pot Duo Plus and I'm not used to using it. So I'm kind of learning as I go. So I've got our sugars in our Instant Pot and we wanna make sure that the sugar is all the way dissolved before you add anything else to it. After we have it on saute mode, it's gonna to start to warm back up and we are going to add about half a can of coconut milk. This is full fat coconut milk. Make sure that you shake it up before you open it so then you get all of that cream on top. And we're just gonna add in about half 
because the other half we're going to use to thicken it. So just add in half of the coconut milk. Oh, it smells so good. Oh man. And we're just gonna wait for this to come up to a simmer. And in the meantime, we're going to crack our eggs. All right, to a liquid measuring cup, we're just gonna add in the rest of the coconut milk. Make sure you get all of that thickened cr coconut cream, not to be confused with cream of coconut. So we've got our coconut milk here. And then I'm gonna crack in two eggs. The eggs are optional, but they do thicken the rice pudding. So that's what I use to thicken it. If you are vegan and you don't want to add the eggs, you can just thicken it up with some cornstarch or some other thickener. I like to take a whisk and just whisk in the eggs into the coconut milk. It's nice and thick. And this is going to make like a custard. So then our coconut rice pudding is thick and creamy. We don't want it to be just like watery, milky rice, right? So whisk in the eggs really nicely so then there's no chunks of scrambled eggs in your rice pudding. And I think it's just about ready for us. Perfect. Also, I need to get a new whisk. This is like the whisk attachment for my hand mixer, but it works because it's like the nice little size, so I like it. All right, so you can see over here that it's already kind of thickened up a little bit. We, oh, it's perfect, okay. So I'm going to just slowly whisk in our egg mixture, our egg and coconut milk mixture. Make sure all the rice is off of the sides of the pot. So while whisking, you want to just slowly pour this in, kind of drizzle it in. Otherwise, like I said, you're gonna get scrambled eggs in your rice pudding. And we want smooth, velvety, delicious, coconutty rice pudding. Oh, it's so good. Also, now might be a good time to let you know that if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so then you don't miss a single video. Okay, so now we're just gonna whisk this together until it comes back up to a simmer. And as it cooks, it will get thicker and thicker, which is really nice. If you like it super thick, you can even add an additional egg or an additional egg yolk. It's so stinking good. We're just gonna wait for this to come up to a simmer. And then after that, we are gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract. Another thing that is really good with this rice pudding is if you put in a little almond extract because almond and coconut go so well together. And then if you taste it and it's not coconutty enough for you, you can add in a little bit of coconut emulsion or like a coconut extract and that will bump up the coconut flavor as well. This is coming up. So like I said, this is a completely dairy-free recipe. Yes, eggs are not dairy. A lot of people might complain about that. Eggs are not dairy, but this is completely dairy-free. There's no butter, no milk, no cream, and so that's really nice. But if you do want it even creamier and even richer, feel free to add like two tablespoons of butter and about a quarter cup of heavy cream to this recipe and it will make it even creamier. All right, this is getting there. Okay, we'll just let this simmer for just a couple minutes. One of the things I actually really do like about this new Instant Pot Duo Plus that I have is that the liner doesn't spin when I'm stirring things. So there's little nubs on the inside of the Instant Pot that kind of secure the liner in place. And so it makes it so it doesn't spin like I'm stirring it now and the liner's not spinning everywhere. I really like that feature. Oh, it's getting nice and thick. Okay, we'll just give this a couple more minutes. Make sure you're stirring this pretty constantly. You can walk away for a couple minutes, but if you don't, it'll probably start burning on the bottom. So just make sure you're there to give it a good stir every now and then. And it's actually, I think it's just about there. Look how custardy that is. It smells so good. Oh, so yummy. All right, we are going to take this off the heat now. Okay, so we're gonna add in our vanilla extract, just about a teaspoon, and I'm sorry, but I never measure my vanilla. I think that erring on the side of overusing vanilla is always better. So we're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla and just stir that in. 
You can serve this with toasted coconut on top. You can even throw in some coconut flakes in there if you want, so then they get kind of chewy and soft in the rice pudding. I like to serve mine with cinnamon, some toasted coconut, and some fresh raspberries. It's so good. All right, I think this is there. I think we're gonna turn it off now. Is the right one? Cancel. Oh, so good. Okay, we're gonna scoop it up and serve it. Okay, this is burning hot, but I'm gonna take just a little tiny bite so I can tell you kind of the flavor, so. Mm. That is so good. The rice is perfectly cooked. It's super coconutty, but it's very light. Like it doesn't have a very heavy flavor. It's just light and sweet and coconutty. You are going to love this. So if you like this recipe, you'll love my vanilla bean rice pudding recipe. Check that out right here and we'll see you next time. Bye.